Hey guys, Victoria Figures here, back again with another action figure review of Star Wars The Black Series 6-inch Captain Rex. Uh, I believe this is an exclusive, obviously, because it's in a different box. Uh, might be San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, maybe? I actually can't remember. My bad. My apologies, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, this, however, is very sought after. Um, and can be hard to come by because it's obviously a convention exclusive um so you can't get this in stores um only if you attended the convention but you can get them on ebay for a price that uh will hurt your wallet <laughs> um apart from that it's uh pretty cool the box is perfect amazing uh no complaints whatsoever so um let's get started so we have the beautiful Clone Wars image of the Phase 2, well, Captain Rex in his Phase 2 armor, which is beautiful. Love it to bits. We've got like the knots and we've got the crosses and knots and that. His kill marks, if you want to call them that. Pretty cool. Nothing much going on there. Nothing going up top. And you got the side here. It continues the picture. Which is pretty sweet. And you have the Republic symbol, Clone Captain Rex, and this showing that it's an exclusive. And on the back here, you have his um is the symbol that he has on his helmet. It's from a uh, beast, I believe. Yeah. Uh I can't remember the name of it, but um yeah, it's pretty cool. And you've got some information on the back there. Clone Captain Rex includes figure and five accessories. Pretty cool. But then on the back here, you have a bio. So I'll leave you guys to look at that for a bit. Pretty cool. Love it. Cool. Uh, and then you can actually take this off. And then you have Captain Rex sitting inside with the Republic symbol, his name. You have his uh, blaster, rifle, and pistols. Obviously, Captain Rex. Star Wars Black Series, nothing much going on there. Star Wars Black Series there. And you have nothing really on the back there apart from an image of Captain Rex. And on the side here. Um, in person, it's actually a lighter blue, which is pretty cool. It looks dark on the, the uh, phone, but um, either way, it's pretty cool. Um, I have this figure uh, in the black and red packaging as well. Um, I don't have this exact one loose, um, but I do have the other version of him loose. Uh, I think there's a few little differences with the figure. Um, paint job, mostly. That I can see. Um, just double checking. Yeah. I mean, the paint jobs are always all different, but um, what I can see. Um, hard to tell, sort of, but um, I know the head sculpt is not. doesn't have the uh, face printing, if I remember correctly, but um, yeah. That's all I can say for that. I think it's a little bit different with the paint job and stuff, but, um, yeah. And then the, uh, red and black box doesn't come with the rifle and the blaster. So, um, I grabbed spare rifle and blaster. Um, it's not the exact gun, but it is it's just not the same paint job, but, um, yeah. So I'm not going to take this guy out of the box because it's expensive. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'll give you a close look at his guns. Of what they look like. So obviously they're black with very nice weathering. Silver weathering. Which is pretty sweet. So they're tied down in there. Very cool. And you have. All the battle damage. Weathering on Rex. On my one his antenna is like. Bent. Which is a shame, but um, 
not much I can do there really. He's not going to get opened up or anything, so he's just going to sit in there and chill. But um, yeah, he looks so awesome. Tell me um what you think. Like, do you think they should have had his helmet off and had it on the side there, maybe, or just he looks cool with his helmet? Well, obviously, he looks cool with his helmet on, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have the uh, updated uh face printing on this one. On the other version, it does. However, I will show you uh the updated version because I have that one loose. So I'll get that. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'll leave that there just for a quick comparison. So, there's battle damage differences, um, as you can see. Right, the arms are sort of clean on the newer version. Then this helmet's like clean looking, and then this one's dirty. Yeah, it's all um, all over the place, but either way, it's pretty cool. You can see the differences, definitely. Nothing too different that I can see. But, um, almost makes me want to get another one of this just to see what this is like, but I'm good. Yeah. Um, I'll actually grab out the rifles spare rifles it's not the exact same but yeah had a closer look at them in the box but i'll just get some old ones here closer look at them so this is probably from like a phase one clone trooper or something or clone captain see he's got the standard clone blaster pretty cool Rip. um and then you got the long rifle Again, from standard clone trooper or clone captain. Very cool. But yeah. Then you have Rex here holding his pistols. Looking awesome. Obviously, Rex is another one of my favourite characters. Bit of blotching right there, but um, yeah, he's a lot of people's favorite character. Pretty cool. I'd love to um, know what he gets up to after episode six. <coughs> I believe he becomes a commander again after episode six. What we get told in Rebels, which is pretty cool. His rangefinder can go up and down, which is pretty neat. Or I'm guessing he could take it off and have like a more Rebels look to his helmet, which it would sort of be like that without the rangefinder, which would be pretty cool as well. Hopefully we get a Rebels version of him. That'd be sweet. But yeah, you have all these markings on him. It's pretty cool. Customized helmet. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I could look at this guy and just play with him all day. He's cool. One of my favourite figures, like I said. Um, I'll just give you a quick look at his pistols. One of them at least. So there you go. Sweet. And obviously they can go into his holsters. Really nice. We'll take a quick look at his head. Just a quick look at the helmet one more time. Very cool. <coughs> then here's Rex with his helmet off. Very cool. His uh, dyed hair. So this is the uh, face print update. I believe the other one doesn't have that, if I'm correct. Could be wrong. Either way, it looks pretty cool. So accurate, so awesome. Oh, 
Beautiful. I hope we uh, get more head sculpts with the clone troopers because, well, obviously, they're all humans and we see some of their faces, but I hope we get that with the new Commander Cody that will be coming out in the um, archive line. I hope we get that. That will be nice. If not, it'll be disappointing, but uh, I still look forward to it either way. I don't have the original one of that, so I really would like that. Cool. So we'll get to the articulation, which uh, with the Black Series, they are super articulation, which is nice. So let's get going. Uh, so his head can go left and right, obviously, or he can do a 360 and break his neck. Uh, his head can go very nicely up and down very nicely. Or you can do, oh, side to side a little bit. And then with his helmet on, uh, obviously can do left and right and up and down. His shoulders can move up and down. His shoulders actually go into his chest, which is fine. Uh, I think it's the same, yep, for that one. His elbows do have double jointed elbows. Double jointed elbows. <laughs> um... Oh, yeah, he's got the swivel, upper arm swivel. Forget about that, sorry. Um, and then you can swivel his wrists, and he has this side-to-side -side action. <coughs> Pardon me. And then I believe with his other hand, yes, he goes up and down, which is pretty sweet. His waist can go left and right, up and down. Well, ab crunch, sorry. His legs can go up a little bit and then back. Stick out that much. Then he's got double jointed knees. Which is pretty cool. And his ankles go up and down. And has ankle pivot. By the way, in all my videos, I've actually been saying, Colin, this joint, the waist... This is the waist. This is the ab crunch. <laughs> so uh, I do apologize for that. I will try and correct myself. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, a little bit longer, this video. Which I hope that is fine for all of you. So there is Rex in his exclusive box. And at box. So, please subscribe, comment, click the bell for notifications, leave a like, and also check out my Instagram, Victoria Figures, like the pictures, comment on them, send me a message, and all that good stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and may the force be with you.